Hey guys, welcome to a new video in my series. Um, and an apology, sorry I haven't posted in a while. Um, I have not been feeling very good. Um, so I, I've been working late at night in the cold for doing pizza delivery and um, it has kind of given me a small cold. And uh, so I figured I'll spare you all the details of that, but um, I just haven't been up to doing more videos. Uh, today we're gonna talk about basically image plane so on why that's important so uh, so basically here from our our project window an image plane basically is what, what they call a free image plane and the benefit of that is if you really want to almost outline like a particular object like uh, let's say you need to do a guitar you need to get you know the exact curves uh, you want to have an image to guide you as you start doing um, you know, if you want to do some extrusion, um, and I'll show you in a second what I mean. Um, so for, to do this, you go to create free image plane. Now you're not going to see anything initially. Um, we have to tell Maya what image to use. So remember our keystrokes control E will bring you to your attribute editor. And it's, this is the problem. It's nothing here because there's nothing here. So we have to click on this guy here. And we have our file that we've already put in. And uh, make sure you set your project file too before all this. We had another tutorial on that. Um, I think that was in how to create a project tutorial. So select the image for the guitar. Now, what I like about this now is that we don't have to really worry about scaling this up. Maya did it for us. So uh, we have a guitar. Now if we go to our orthographic view, we can see that we've got a, an image of a guitar. Now the problem is we can still select it. And we're going to add this to a layer. So create your layer. And don't forget to name it. Let's call it guitar image. Okay. All right. So the problem is you, you, this is kind of it acts like geometry. I think technically it is. Um, we want to set this on reference, okay? Actually, template. Sorry, template. Okay, my apologies. Uh, so we do want to set it on reference and so we want to select your image plane right click over your layer add selected objects and now we can't do anything with this and that's what we wanted if you need to move it or whatever you know just you know deselect the um, letter icon box the checkbox here so it's blank and then you can start moving it around again uh, but we want to just have it as a reference. We don't want to do anything with it other than what we're going to do here. So the cool part about image point is that if you need to model something in general, you can use this as a guide and um, almost get exactly what you need out of it. So I am going to just do you know, a quick CV curve tool, kind of zoom in a little bit. Gonna make this too exact. And you can always adjust these later on. All, all these little, you know, uh, control vertices here. You know, you can push and pull them. You can always hit the control the mighty control Z so that you don't have to worry about making a mistake and then go ahead and you know select the snap to points on that and then be able to connect it and uh, once you're done with that hit enter so I mean it's not perfect you know like I said before you can 
you know, go in and adjust it a little bit if you need to. But, you know, we at least have a guide. Don't forget to turn off snap the points up too, because <laughs> it'll, it'll kind of restrict your movement on that. So, you know, when you're done with this, you know, you can easily, you know, go back into, you know, your actual mode type and so exit out of that and go here into your perspective window. Now, if we just kind of want to, like, you know, you could disable the V, you know, and so you can see what's going on here. Um, go back to your modeling section, surfaces, and we can do extrude, I believe. Actually, no, I'm going to do a planar. I think I'll do planar. So we want polygons, quads, and probably going to up the count a little bit. Um, because we want it nice and, we, you know, the guitar. We want to have a nice smooth surface. So, let's see what happens here. All right, so I put it on 1200, and that was that that was a little much, uh, <laughs> but it did a job, looks like. So, you know, when you do a planer, it basically, you know, in this case, you know, it made the shape for us, you know. So, um, almost like a it, like a profile image, I should say. But um, because we actually have our image plane, that wasn't too far off from its you know, actual image. I mean, that's spot on. So that's the beauty of what you can do with that. Um, so I'm not going to go too much further into detail of this project. Uh, I think I'll probably do um, another video later on, on on an actual guitar project so you guys can follow through. Um, we can get into like other extrusions, um, other planar effects, even um, a boolean. I think actually I'll do a boolean on the next, next video. So thanks guys. Well, have a great day. We'll try to post a couple of more videos today as well. Thank you.